The subject is arrow word puzzles. If there's anybody out there who hasn't seen an arrow word puzzle, I've got one here that you can have a quick look at. It's just a crossword puzzle in which the clues are placed into what would normally be the black pattern cells of the puzzle and each of those cells has a little arrow pointing in the direction of the word. This particular puzzle has only one clue in each cell and I won't be using this particular design uh, in my demonstration because I want to be able to show that Crossword Express goes one further and can have up to two crew clues in a cell. That means I'm going to have to design a grid and I will get that out of the way and I will go to the normal starting point which is there and we're going to build a new grid. To do that we go here to tasks, create a new grid, it needs a name so arrow word is a good name, the grid is going to be 11 by 11, we need to select a symmetry and normally but not always um, arrow word puzzles have no actual symmetry uh, so I will select that and say OK. So there we have a um, blank grid 11 by 11 into which I need to put some black cells. The way of doing that is to select the cell that you want to uh, change to black and click on it. So it's a matter of select and click, select and click. I'll go all the way around the outside. Oh, didn't mean to do that. And we need to break up this central area. There's no hope of filling that up with words of that length. Uh, so I will put a a diagonal row of cells across there like that and if you look at a cell like that you can see that it has to provide a clue for that word and also for that word uh, and that's what Crossword Express can do. I'll put more black cells in there to get rid of some of that big white area and um, I'll put some more cells down here and I'm left with two long words there so I'll put a cell in there and in there and I think that should be quite adequate as a as a grid to make an arrow word puzzle before I leave, most important, save it and now I can exit from, from this part of the program. So now that I've got that grid, I'll see if I can make a puzzle with it. So and go, build the usual thing, um, the options start a new puzzle, yes that's what I'm going to do and got to give it a name, arrow word again ok normally you would also have to select a dictionary uh, well I've already got the English dictionary selected and that's the one that I want and select a grid now you'll see when I go to select the grid, well I've already got uh, the grid that I've just designed. When you design a new grid that becomes the default grid and so that's what the 
program is offering to use and that's good. So it's just a matter now of building it. And there is a crossword puzzle built on that grid. Well really now all we need to do is print it. Print and we've got an option here print arrow word and normally you would then have to select a puzzle layout uh, well arrow word just happens to be the one which is uh, left over from the last time I printed something so we don't even have to select that so I can just go now view and have a look at what this puzzle uh, will look like And there is what is obviously a um, an arrow word puzzle. Got some options up here, print options to look at. Um, I'll just move that away a little bit. Some of the things that you can do, you can change some of the colours here. Well, I've already got a colour in the clue cells uh, to make it look a bit prettier so that's okay. Um, the words can be um, aligned left if you want. I think it looks better if they're aligned centrally so I'll go back and do that. Uh, align centre. And we've got this thing called clue overlap I'll explain what that is. Notice the cells where the clues are printed are made a little bit bigger. Uh, they extend out over the surrounding cells and the reason for doing that is sometimes depending on the clues that you've got to print in there um, there's really not quite enough room to print the clues so the program finishes up using a very small font. What is this going to be like? Um, it might be alright. Um, let's have a look and actually print it into a PDF file. Open in preview. Drag that across for you to see and make it uh, quite a lot bigger. And you see that's not too bad. Um, those clues fit in. So you never know what you're going to get. Uh, when I built, when the program built this puzzle, I didn't know how long the clues were going to be or how long the words uh, in it were going to be. But I think that probably looks um, looks quite reasonable. If the if you think the font is too small, what you can do is look around and try and see where was the longest word um, used in any of the clues. And where would it be? Yeah, well, probably this word here, exclamation of surprise. Um, if we try to use a larger font to type that in there, it probably would not fit. So the program decided that, that was the font that it was going to use. So that's that's really all there is to it. Um, I think a lot of people think that's a fairly difficult task making a arrow word puzzle but I think you'll agree that um, providing you design the grid and correctly and uh, create it correctly um, it's just a straightforward process build the puzzle and print it. So there you are I hope uh, I hope you followed that to the point where you'll be able to set to work and make your own arrow word puzzles uh, if you have any difficulty, don't hesitate to come back and watch it again uh, and uh, you'll soon uh, have the um, 
ability to make any number of arrow word puzzles that you want. Okay, I'll leave it there and thank you for your attention.